Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Nick Grand. Or whatever. In today's video, I thought it would be a really good idea to test out some of these uh, TikTok or Instagram whatever hacks. Um, so if you want to watch that, stay tuned. All right, guys, so the first hack that I heard about literally was in order to like get a more full coverage look with your foundation, they said to kind of mix a sheer foundation with a little bit of your loose powder. So today, I wanted to mix the Makeup Forever HD with the Aerospun powder. Why? Because I couldn't find my Laura Mercier. Oh, Lache, Mercier, Lache. Uh, I don't know why, what happened to her, whatever, but she left. I'm gonna try to mix these two. So in order to show you guys what's that, what, uh, what's, <laughs> what that's gonna look like, I'm gonna kind of put one side of this first and then have the other side mixed with it to show the difference. So let me put one side on. All right, so I took two pumps. I like that. On the back of my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna put those on this side and then the one with the powder for coverage wise, we're gonna compare and see what happens. Oh yeah, all right, so this is one side so far. This is the liquid without any powder mixed into it at all. This is no skin. Obviously, let's ignore the colors for now, but let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious to know what happens with the mixed powder. All right guys, so I'm gonna take a little plate here. Take just like how I did with the other side. I'm gonna take two pumps of the foundation. Oh, just like that. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Aerospun loose powder. Oh. Now they didn't say how much, so I'm gonna kind of just like. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna put that much, not too much, but not too little. Let's just show the foundation side. That's crazy. Mix this with one of these uh, toothpick things and see what happens. All right guys, so we are back, back. So I still have the finger swab, so now, so far, if you guys can see, that looks like a huge color difference, huge, huge. color difference. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Kind of feels more like a cream texture. Whoa. So the grip of it, I already like it a lot better. It's not as liquidy as, the original. I kind of do feel like I would need a little bit more of the liquid with the powder because the powder kind of takes all the liquid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. this is crazy. crazy. All right, so it's kind of a huge difference. I mean, not with coverage, but uh, in general, I mean, the color to me, Wait, am I crazy? A little bit different, I don't know. In person though, it does look a little bit more cakey. But I mean, does it work? Yeah. Coverage wise, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know below. For me, I'm not doing this again. No. <laughs> no. All right, guys. The next hack I'm going to do involves a spoon. And my next favorite step, you guys know I love cream contouring, especially with Fenty. I missed this baby in the last video when I used that e.l.f. camel concealer in the darker shade. It wasn't bad, but I still missed my damn Fenty. I missed it. The next hack literally says to take a spoon and contour like with the brush underneath that and then you'll see you'll see i'm gonna take my stick i'm gonna kind of like really load it up that's nice and coated and now it kind of says i'm kind of i'm i'm scared i'm scared now it literally says to kind of hold it above and follow the spoon What the hell? I mean, not bad, but I feel like I'm gonna look like a ven ventriloquist doll, ventriloquist doll, that scary puppet from that show. And besides, your spoon is filthy. Can't even eat cereal. I'm gonna take the other side, Jesus. put it on my cheekbone, on my cheek pad, and I'm gonna go back and forth and really follow the spoon. Like so, this could literally really work for Halloween. Oh, maybe 
this side, I went a little crazy. And it only does cheekbones, it doesn't even do your forehead, so I'm gonna actually... I'm gonna add forehead. I'm gonna do it with this side. Oh! That's good. Should I do this spoon too? I think I'm gonna hold the spoon, get a little bit more product. I think I'm gonna hold the spoon and just try to see what happens. Oh, oh my god. Is that gonna ruin it? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, I'm gonna put the spoon down for now. But that does pretty much give you a straight line. Like, it's like a robot. It's like a robot. So now I'm just gonna take the opposite side of the sponge and start to kind of blend this out and see what happens. Where the hell is my mirror? <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm scared. I'm terrified. Five hours later. Alright, so this is pretty much once I blend it out. It's not bad, it's kinda it's kinda cute, you know? There's a little little dimple. Look, look at that. JLO at the Super Bowl, you ready? <laughs> I'm liking it. The nose is a little crazy, but you could probably bake that up and fix that, but not bad. Not bad. This is everything blended out. Not too mad at it. I'm gonna try a little bit of reverse contouring. From what I saw, it was kind of like, you already have something on, but you kind of like just bake the sides like that. She did say to like run a little bit of blusher on the center of your nose, but I figured if I already had bronzer on the nose, br bronzer on the nose, then why the hell do I need to do anything else? So she said do that. Then she said to like kind of dust off the powder like that. And then she said to put two little dots of highlighter. I'm gonna take a little Becca Champagne pop. Boom, boom. That's what the reverse contouring person said on TikTok. So you know what? I'm gonna do whatever TikTok tells me to do because so far, not too mad at it. If you guys have not guessed it already, guess it and guess it now. In the last video, I did say that I wanted to try more freckle techniques. I wasn't over the freckle trend. Freckles are my life. Okay. So, I'm not over the freckles, so I'm gonna try one more freckle trend that I just learned either from TikTok or Instagram, can't remember, they actually all float around anyway, so it's the same thing. And there goes makeup forever. Oh, what am I mess? Okay. Back to the station. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be using the same pad that I used before, whatever, you know. So they said to basically take like a brown shade. So I'm gonna kind of take like Playful and Snuggle from the Tarte, uh, Tarte Light Flirt palette. I'm gonna scrape off a little bit of these two. Oh, like that. What you kind of want to do with this is kind of take a little setting spray from what they said. I'm kind of making it into a, like a little paste. So I'm gonna do that with the eyeshadow brush, like that. Hopefully you guys can see this good. And basically all the video said to do is literally hold your brush. You know, you can see like this brush is like, what? What? And they said to kind of just like flick it around. I don't have two hands right now. So they said to kind of flick it around and create the appearance of freckles. Anything happening? Anything happening? All right, do you guys see anything? Because I don't. So I'm gonna actually just take my eyeshadow brush and go around my damn self. How about that one? All right. <laughs> this is why you stop hacks before they're over. We were actually looking okay. Now we're looking kind of crazy. What did I do? What did I do? So on time move into the next hack, I did put a little baking powder uh, all over. Not baking powder to bake cookies. I like cookies though. The actual setting powder to kind of clear this up. But in the meantime, we may, we may try, one, try more one, thing. one more thing. Okay, so with that being said. That hack that I wanted to try, and I'm still gonna try something, but that hack that I wanted to try, um, 
Yeah, I don't have I don't have brow pomades. Um, I have a thing with creams. If you guys don't know, I don't really like creams. I don't like them. I'm gonna take the ColourPop brow balls and I'm gonna try to see if maybe like. I could steal pigment from here to kind of use. Now the hack that I saw literally involved using this little thing that you normally clean your teeth with, you know, with, with, <laughs> with brow cream. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to actually steal some of this pigment from here, which I actually successfully did. <laughs> thank you, I know, thank you. So first I'm gonna take a spoolie and I'm gonna see if I could kind of like fill in and kind of shape the brow um, as we speak. So the hack, literally, they just press down like this. Wow, I feel like I'm threading. I feel like I'm threading. Does that look like it did anything to you guys? Hmm. Definitely did work. I feel like maybe if like I had a better product, let's try the other side really fast before I like go and blend that out, but I feel like maybe if I had a better product, like <laughs> the actual gel, I would have got a better result that I wanted, but for a tint, not bad. And I actually do like this tint, by the way. I mean, I like anything ColourPop. I mean, ColourPop can't do anything wrong in my eyes, so I'm just saying. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna try to do a little wiggle. Wow, wow. Definitely a little sloppy. Maybe that's why they use the pomade. It's not bad at all. Like, that's not bad. So that is a <laughs> approved. Wow, his brows are looking not bad. A bit of an understatement. And that, and that is, is that. that. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me testing and trying out these TikTok slash Instagram whatever hacks. I really do appreciate that. Please like, comment, and subscribe below if you really did like this content as well. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Take care. Or oh, whatever. <laughs>